Prepper Bill. Today is Friday, June 3rd, 2022. A lot of stuff going on. <clears throat> I don't even know where to begin. Uh, it's the same old, same old prices and shortages, you know. Uh, had to go to Home Depot the other day to get uh, a couple pieces of wood and something else. I need a couple screws. As I'm pulling into Home Depot, a um, bunch of police cars, traffic, you know, trying to get in into the parking lot. Uh, there's a heavy set guy leaning up against a car, yelling at some other people, and that couple's yelling back. And cops are standing right there next to the guy and everything. And the one guy yells to the heavy guy like, "I'm pressing charges," and he's like, "Buddy, I know where you live." You'll never make it to the police station to press charges, to do the paperwork. The guy's wife is like, did you hear that? You know, that's terroristic threats. And the cops didn't do anything like, well, we don't hear anything. You know, it's heat of the moment. Now, if that was you or I, we'd get in trouble. So anyway, there was like four or five police cars there, a couple down the other end. I took a quick picture, you know, in my, in my truck. Because I don't like taking pictures or video when there's cops around. I don't like drawing attention to myself, first of all. So I go inside. Some people have a sense of humor. Some don't. All the employees are standing around talking about what's going on outside. And I'm like, oh, what's going on out there? Somebody's not happy with the customer service. Three or four people laughed. Two looked at me like they wanted to kill me. So uh, a guy told me, evidently a guy rented a box truck was going to Home Depot to get some stuff and was turning into the parking lot and evidently there was a car in his blind spot and he cut a guy off. That guy chased him through the parking lot and was cursing and hollering. Well here that guy that he got cut that got cut off in the car was an ex police officer. And so maybe that's why that guy is threatening the other couple that had the box truck and nothing's happening to him. So anyway, I'm like, well, let me go do my shopping, get the hell out of here before, you know, shit hits the fan, you know, something happens. And the one guy's like, oh, it doesn't matter if you're inside or outside, there's shit going on in here too. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, well, there's more cops down the end. There's t two fights in the aisles. So there's other people. I went in, there was a couple fighting over something in an aisle. I went around them, another person with a bunch of kids, and the kid did something or whatever. I, I don't know. I... I just got the hell out of there. So I told my wife, you know, you ought to see the shit that's going on at, at Home Depot. And she got to work, and somebody came in and stopped at the Wawa on the way in, in Medford, the ritzy, hoity duty place. Uh, stopped at the Wawa in there, and there was a stabbing. Stabbing at Wawa. Uh, I'm seeing road rage, I'm seeing people getting pissed off, I'm seeing fights like crazy. Uh, more and more people don't seem to give a shit on what's going on. Uh, the gas now, uh, when I went to BJ's today, uh, I had to get some food, and I ran down there. Uh, gas is now $5 a gallon here in New Jersey, in South Jersey anyway, $4.99, so that's 5 bucks. Unbelievable. I'm seeing some shortages, you know, some days you can get potato chips and pretzels, other days you can't. Uh, two stores had no bread. Went to the store the other day, it had no bread, no rolls, no bread, nothing. Um, no ice cream. The whole aisle, there was no ice cream to be found anywhere in the store. No, that's a major priority. I'm like, oh well, guess you can't have that. I'm sure they got it today. That was two or three days ago. It's hit or miss. You go to a store, some days you get some stuff. For a couple of months, we couldn't find certain things. You know, our pig food doubled in price. 
well, more than double, I guess. Um, it was $18 a bag, and now it's $50, $50 a bag. Uh, chicken feed's not so bad. I saw some stuff at the store the other day. Chicken, some chicken shit was crazy. Not going to buy that. So we're buying a different kind of pig food. Uh, what else? Today they had no lunch meat at BJ's. None. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, how do you eat that stuff? We, we eat lunch meat. None. They had cheese. No lunch meat. It is what it is. Pretty soon I'm expecting you won't be able to find anything. Or it'll be so expensive, we won't be able to buy it anyway. Uh, when is the okie doke? People are just not going out. I see people spending money like crazy. I know some people that are they're stocking up on food. I mean, not going crazy, they're not buying pallets of food, but they're buying you know, like a case of water here and there. You know, a couple things, a uh, soup and stuff like that, chicken broth to put away. You know, a little bit here and there. That's uh, the other people. Fast food restaurants. They open a Chick Fil A down here, and, and it's like all the way down the highway. Just people lined up for an hour to get into Chick Fil A. I like Chick-fil-A, but I'm not, I'm not waiting an hour. We, we've had storms, it's been 100 frickin' degrees, 97 degrees with like 105 humidity, and I am I got so many clothes that are just soaked from working outside, five minutes and you're drenched. And then we had pouring frickin' rain, but we needed it. Things are just crazy. People, I mean, my wife might be doing uh Delivering for DoorDash to make some extra money because things are getting tight. Um, and my stepdaughter might be helping her out. I mean, things are getting really, really tight. It's just getting too bright. I don't know. I can't see the viewfinder. Um, this one girl that my wife works with delivers for DoorDash. And I'm hearing bad stuff. You know, people not tipping, not paying, all this stuff. But she's saying some people will call like Wawa, and order a hoagie for 6 bucks, and pay $40 to have it delivered. Who the hell's got money for that? And they're eating shit food anyway. People ordering burgers and fries from a diner and a restaurant and paying 40 50 bucks for somebody to deliver. You're eating shit food. I mean, that's like fast food almost. I mean, that kind of money, you could buy a lot of food to eat for the whole freaking week. I don't... People, I see campers and boats. And... Now, everybody is, nobody's going to the store. All the stores are going out of business. We went and bought topsoil the other day for the garden. Got a good deal on it. I went there with a trailer and they loaded up with a, you know, a, a front end loader. And he's got three trucks there, max, that need work and he can't get parts for it. And they're newer trucks. A friend of his that drives for him has a, a two or three year old Mack truck. They got Volvo engines in them now. It's either the crank or camshaft went. And the dealer said you're looking at over a year to get the part. That's unbelievable. All these brand new trucks. And people are like, eh, well, you know, it's one truck. People can't get parts for new trucks. And that's what all this is about, man. It's diesel is over six dollars a gallon here. I don't know where it is across the country. I'm sure it varies. It, it's cheaper. It's more, but everything moves on diesel. And people are like, you know what? It costs too much money for me to go to the store with gasoline, and you know, I gotta walk, or I gotta wait in line, and I'll just everything is Amazon online, buying, buying, buying. Sometimes you have to. Sometimes you can't get stuff locally. You've got to order it online. I prefer to go local if I can. You know, if I need something today, I'm going to go to Home Depot. I'm going to go to wherever you got to go to get it if you can. But more and more people are just buying shit on Amazon every day, every day. Amazon, 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 Amazon. Up. Oh, free delivery. Free delivery. Four day delivery. Three day delivery. Have it here tomorrow. When's the okie doke? When is that not? When is that going to stop? People are buying shit, and you get free delivery. It'll be here in three, three, four days. I'm ordering stuff. I have not had one 
good experience with Amazon in four years. Not one. And I've bought a lot of shit. I don't buy Amazon anymore. I will go to a different place, I'll pay more money and have it delivered, or I'll go to a store. If it's Amazon, I'm not buying it. And I'm sure there's going to come a time when everything is going to be closed, and that's the only thing you're going to be able to do is go to Walmart and Amazon. It's probably, if you don't have that, if you get, don't go there, you're not getting nothing. I understand that. But until then, people tell me, I've had bad experience. Everything I got was a piece of crap. It was a knockoff. It was junk. It's not what I ordered. Wrong size. Wrong color. Not what it was in the book. Wrong dimensions. Junk. And people are like, oh, well, you know, you've got to make sure it's not a third party and this and that. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. I want to click, buy it, and be done. Not like, well, let me check this. How many reviews? I'm not doing that. I'm not wasting my time. If I want something, b &H photo, okay, there. Target dot com or something I don't know I don't do much online shopping but if it's Amazon I don't do it the price of fuel how how can they afford it how can they afford to do free shipping uh, explain it to me you know let me know I think in my opinion it's going to be the old okie doke and now all the stores are closed everybody's out of business and now you have to get from us because we're the only one left. You want something, you're buying it through us. And guess what? You're ordering uh, a tripod for your camera that's $55. It's $150 to deliver. When all this shit is gone, there was a restaurant around the corner from us. It's been closed for oh, five years at least. Somebody bought it before all this stuff happened. And redid the whole inside. We're getting ready to open. And they can't get parts for the sink, the stove, the oven, all the restaurant stuff. They either can't get stuff to replace it or they can't get theirs fixed because of parts. So they're on hold. They're paying rent and a mortgage or whatever. And they can't open. A place, the little general store around the corner from us, somebody bought it. I mean, it's like a historical landmark. And it's been sitting for two or three years, four years. Somebody bought it, redid it, going to open it back up. Big sign, opening soon. They're look, trying to hire people to work there. Keep seeing that in the, in the paper. Keep asking what's going on. They can't find a food vendor. Evidently, all the like Cisco foods and the ones that deliver to the restaurants and diners, they only have enough food or whatever to have like who they already have. They're not taking any new customers. So, unless I go to ShopRite and Walmart and buy meat and rolls, they can't open. More and more stores are closing around here. Banks are closing. My wife, my bank luckily is closed. It's only a couple miles away. You know, I get there in 25 minutes, half hour. My wife deals with, because uh, she had it forever, it's Bank of America. And our mortgage and everything comes right out of that every month. But Bank of America, all the local branches uh, have closed. They have an ATM here and there that you can go to, like in the middle of a parking lot. But there's a lot of shit you can't do. You have to go inside. And there's not one. We went to one the other day. It was over an hour away to go to the freaking bank. So she's going to have to change banks, I think. More and more banks are closing. Everything is online. And last couple days, uh, you know, our power's been flickering on and off. I mean, we've had storms, and sometimes we lose the power in a storm. You know, that's normal. But the last couple days, you have a storm, didn't lose anything. The next day, you're sitting there at the kitchen table, and the lights are flickering and flashing. I'm like, what's up with that? And then it goes back. And they're talking about the whole United States is going to experience... Power surges, blackouts, brownouts. Are you ready for that? Do you believe it? <sighs> Shit's getting crazy. People fighting, stabbing. At a convenience store, which ain't so convenient anymore. Stabbing. In a ritzy neighborhood. Imagine that. People fighting at Home Depot in a parking lot. 
and fighting in front of like three and four cops. All I had to do was say the wrong thing. I'd be like, oh, let's go. I'm out here. I walked around earlier and videotaped a little bit, and I was getting bit to frickin' hell. I forgot my spray. Flies are everywhere. But it's nice out, but it's it's hot, it's humid, it's muggy. Getting bit on the back with a frickin' horse flies or whatever you want to call them. Jesus. Other than that, it's nice out here. I think shit's going to get bad real soon. And what are your thoughts on DoorDash? I mean, do you do DoorDash? Do you go to the store? Do you order dinner and have somebody pick it up? And do you tip to people? I've seen people talk about they tip good. You're buying, are you buying a $40, $50 meal for the family? Or are you buying a cheesesteak and having it delivered? You're ordering a pizza and having it delivered? How much are you paying for that delivery? I don't know. I just hear other people paying like you know, $15 for a sandwich and paying $40 for DoorDash to deliver it. Are you kidding me? Have people gotten that lazy where they don't go to the store? I know the price of gas. I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere. So, it, yeah, it does cost us a little bit more to go to the store. But if we got to go food shopping, you know, I'll get gas, go food shopping, we'll go to BJ's, maybe we'll hit Aldi's, the next parking lot over, or the next shopping center or shop, right? We do it all in a loop and come home. We don't go out every day, every day. I know other people that do that. They don't do food shopping. They buy like two days worth of food. You know, I was going to do a couple of parades on Memorial Day. But the ambulance, you know, it takes a lot of gas. So, I, I didn't do it. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't do anything Memorial Day. I just worked on the chicken coop. I know a couple of guys that bought the five tons and, you know, a couple of guys got the Humvees. They got like four miles to the gallon doing a parade. The deuce, the deuce and a half, I got 10, 11 miles to the gallon regardless, unless it was full and I was pulling a full trailer. But just driving around, didn't matter if it was city, highway, around town, I got about 10 miles to the gallon. And my buddy's got, he's got a deuce just like I got, and he got married, and him and his wife bought a five-ton. <laughs> and he said uh, they took the deuce and the five-ton, and they did two parades, and it cost them over $300 in fuel. He said the five-ton, it just, four miles a gallon, just... You're talking diesel in New Jersey is over six dollars a gallon. Not happening. I used to have a diesel pickup truck. I'm glad I got rid of that. It's bad enough now. Five bucks a gallon. Well, I just got gas the other day. Half a tank was seventy-eight dollars or seventy-four, something like that. That's crazy. So let me know what you think about how bad the shortage is going to get. And, I mean, everybody has different opinions, and this isn't going to happen, that's not going to happen, this is going to happen, and it's going to be doomsday, or it's only going to be six months, and everything's going to be, everything's going to be great in six months, everything's going to be great next year. But then when you're reading some of these financial papers, and, you know, people that are, oh, I'm getting bit again. People that are, to do this shit for a living, financial, aid, financial people in magazines, they're talking about, don't expect the gas prices to come down anytime soon. Uh, like, it might go down, might go up. I mean, here they're talking about, well, they were talking about gas here being six bucks. Six, six and a quarter come September, August, September. I wonder how many boats I'll be seeing out then, and campers. So... That's all I got for now. Do you do DoorDash? Do you buy everything online? I don't know. Shit ain't looking good. This is Pony Prepper Bill, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.